Well, it's a Thursday and potentially a stormy Thursday here in Orangeburg. Talk about that at least briefly before the election. We are expecting some uh, wind and rain from our tropical storm came ashore in Florida as a Category 1 hurricane. Uh, Weather Service is telling us that one of the biggest risks that we face is the development of tornadoes. So be aware. Um, be aware that we do have that weather ongoing. Again, we're probably going to see a fair amount of rain. Stay safe in the middle of that. Elections, we are, while well, around the country, there's still a lot of suspense about uh, who's going to win various things. Not the case locally, for sure. But just up for the matter of something of real interest, 50% of eligible voters in Orangeburg County came out to vote. Uh, statewide, it was closer to 51%. Uh, based on some of the history we've seen over some years in the past, uh, that's pretty good turnout. Uh, it seems like uh, it's hard to say that ha only half the people that are eligible to vote voting is somehow really uh, good participation, but it's not bad. We've had bigger. All right. Um, the Archibald County School District officials, notably the superintendent, Dr. Foster, is saying thank you to voters for approving the $190 million school uh, building and renovation plan. He's saying it shows that Orangeburg County uh, cares a lot about uh, the future of its people by serving students in quality facilities with a quality education. We've also got follow-ups today. Hugh Weathers, the Commissioner of Agriculture, uh, is talking about he's got more to do in, his, in this four-year term, but he does reiterate something that he said even during the campaign that he intends for this to be his last term as Commissioner of Agriculture. We are also talking today with lawmakers, uh, Representative Gildakov Hunter, Representative Russell Ott, Representative Justin Bamberg. They're talking about their victories uh, on Tuesday and how they are ready to get busy back at work uh, with legislative matters. Holly Hill Academy uh, going for a three-peat state title in eight-man football in Skiza. Uh, big win last night in the semifinals. Next up is the state title game. Calhoun County football on the road tonight in the upstate playing a game. No games, playoff game scheduled for us on Friday night. We have a couple more on Saturday. Uh, a lot of detail on that in sports. Uh, as well as a good bit of other stuff. All right, we'll be tracking the impact of this uh, storm, so you can stay with us and find out at the tnd.com. Please go over there and, and uh, become a member. I mean, it's a bargain. We think you'll find it uh, well worth your while. You'll have a lot of enjoyment. Remember, uh, as a member over there, under the entertainment um, drop-down at the top of our homepage, there are more than 300 comic strips available for you if you're a comics fan, plus a lot of other advice columns, including Dear Abby. Uh, again, we'll make a pitch for you to take advantage of all that, and you get local news in the process. All right, stay safe and uh, have a good day. We'll keep you posted.